Lorip for Life Sciences is Executive Director of Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, Faridabad. She obtained her doctoral degree from the Christian Medical College in Vellore. And to announce the prize, I am pleased to introduce the jury chair for this category, Dr. Inder Varma. Dr. Varma is professor at the Laboratory of Genetics, American Cancer Society, professor of molecular biology, and the Urban and Joan Jacobs Chair in Exemplary Life Sciences at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in the USA. He is a recipient of the Spector Prize awarded by Columbia University and the 22nd Annual Cancer Research Award of the Passerau Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished Dr. Inder Varma. Thank you. The Infosys Prize for 2016 goes to Dr. Gagandeep Kang for her pioneering contributions to understanding the natural history of rotavirus and other infectious diseases that are important both globally and in India. Her findings have enormous implications for vaccines and public health majors to thwart these interactions. It was the international jury of uh, peers like David Baker from University of Washington, uh, Dr. Joe Ecker from the Salk Institute, uh, Lalita Ramakrishnan from LMB Cambridge, Tony Mofson from New York Medical School, and Shankar Subramaniam from UC San Diego. This is the eighth prize for life sciences. Almost all the prizes in life sciences have been awarded to basic biology, in developmental biology, neurobiology, plant biology, and uh, also in, in, in insect biology and structural biology. Of course, biology in the end has a major role to play in not only the excitement of understanding biology, but also what role it plays in public health. What role does it play in the betterment of humanity? So the jury was absolutely delighted when we got the nomination of Dr. Kang. She's also known as Cherry Kang, by the way, that's her name. Uh, and when we began to read and her contributions, it became immediately clear that this is really a remarkable piece of work. So what has she done? About 27 million children are born in India every year. Half of them will suffer from diarrhea in the early stages of their life and perhaps persistently for a long period of time. Many of them will die, it's a morbid disease. Even though there are now availability of solutions, salt solutions, and rehydration and so on, but still it's pretty miserable, particularly in the villages and so on. So what uh, Cherry did was to begin to ask the question, can these kids not be given rotavirus vaccines so that their quality of life and their family life and also the economic loss of taking these children to the hospital and so on, not to mention the sheer pain that they have to go through it. Now, of course, everybody uses vaccines from other countries. And they are not always exactly the same as in India because there's a real difference. In fact, the vaccine, which is perhaps 90% working in other countries, works 50% here because it's not given in the same conditions. The nutrition is different, the food is different. And in fact, we give to all children the diphtheria, petrosis, and, uh, and polio and other vaccines along with this, so whether it's as effective or not. In fact, it's not effective very often and she has worked really very hard to figure that out. And as a result of her work and her colleagues' work, now there are four states in the country where they're beginning to administer rotavirus vaccine along with all the other vaccines, hoping that this will have a major impact on the quality of the life. Clinical sciences is a difficult job. It requires enormous amount of organization. It takes a lot of work to bring people together, collect the data, and then begin to analyze the data. And that takes a, a lot of effort. So Cherry Kang and her colleagues have done this remarkable work. I would say they work a lot on shit in this case because it's all about diarrhea, but that takes a lot of effort to do that too. But she's really actually a quite a remarkable character because not only she does in this area, she has also now begun to move into many other vaccines. And so she's one of the leading vaccinologist in the country, and I'm sure you'll hear a lot more about her in years to come. So congratulations to you and to your family. Thank you. And here is a short video of uh, Professor Kang reflecting on her mission. 
Can we have the video, please? The inspiration really comes from one of my role models. Her name is Mary Estes, and when I went to work with her, she said, what's the big question we can address? And the question that she put forward for me was, could we identify a correlate of protection for rotavirus? When we first started out, people used to think that there were things that couldn't be done. Now, all the solutions come from the team. They have now learned that no is not an answer. It's always yes, and how do we get there? I'm Gagandeep Kang, and I'd like to make vaccines work better in Indian children. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Gagandeep Kang. I request Mr. S.D. Shibulal, the anchor trustee for this category, to join us. And I request our chief guest, Dr. Ramakrishnan, to present the Infosys Prize in Life Sciences to Professor Khan. Professor Varma. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Professor Kang, a few words. There is an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I have been very privileged to have people who have worked with me for many, many years both in India and outside, who have been responsible for all that we have done. To them, to my friends, and to my family, thank you very much. I wouldn't be here without you. And the things that we will do in the future, you're responsible. You're going to do them with me as well. To the Infosys Science Foundation, again, a very big thank you, especially for the work that you are doing with teachers and with students, because I think that is what is going to make a change in the India we will see in the next few decades. Thank you very much. <laughs>